How do you communicate with people who have different thinking styles and behavioral styles to you? It's a great question, right? Because sometimes we get quite frustrated or anxious thinking, man, I don't know how to get through to this person or they keep cutting me off or they keep asking for information or putting me on the spot and it freaks me out because that's not how I think. Well, I had a situation like that with a client recently. He's an exec and he said to me, man, I need some help how to communicate with the chair of the board easily because she is a different communicator style to me. And I'm like, hmm, let's have a look at your strengths. So granted, you do need to know your Gallup strengths, your Clifton strengths to do this, but it takes you 40 minutes, doesn't cost much at all. And then you can deal with all these challenges we're about to look at. So imagine for a moment, you do know what your strengths are. And in fact, put yourself in these people's shoes. So one of them, this executive, he leads with relationship building, right? Relationship building talents, he's all about connecting with people and having a conversation and he's high in empathy and he's high in trust and everyone feels like he knows a lot about them, right? That's the amazing thing about his leadership. <clears throat> he finishes with strategic themes, right? So strategic thinking. So this is looking into the future. This is having a plan. This is problem solving. This is big picture stuff. In the middle, he's also got some influencing themes or talents and also executing. So think of it like this. Let's talk about it. Let's bring a few other people into the conversation. Let's think about picking up the hammer and doing some stuff. And then let's talk about the plan and the strategy. The chair on the other side, she's the complete opposite man. So when we got out their reports, I was like, oh, this is gonna be good. She leads with strategic thinking. She's all about the plan and looking into the future. What's this look like? Who's it going to impact? Why will we do it? What's the payoff? What's the risk? Then moves into executing mode. Okay, let's do something with this strategic plan. And then it's like, okay, who do we need to bring on board? Who do we need to influence? Who might we need to build relationships with? And then let's go and build the relationships. So you might have noticed the color is are in absolute opposite order. But he leads over here with this she leads over here with that. So how do you think the conversation went when we sat down and we go, okay, so knowing what you know about yourself, you're a relationship person, you like to talk and then establish a plan. And your chair is a strategic thinking person. They like to know the plan or the agenda, and then they're going to talk. How are you going to address that? Well, it's a good question. Put yourself in their shoes. How would you address that if you were this person over here who is high in relationships. Or maybe this resonates more with you and your strategy, 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 what's the plan? I need the agenda, I'm not moving until I know why we're doing this. How would you communicate with someone that had a reverse set of talents or themes to you? I'd love to know. Put it in the chat above or below, depending on where you're watching this, and let's get the conversation going.